Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with Master Code Online, and in today's tutorial we're going to kind of look at why uh, we would use a generator functions. Before we jump into that, though, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. Anyhow, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is create a list. A is equal to a list of numbers: one, two, three, four, and five. All right. Well, now we're going to create a function. We're going to define that function, and we're going to say define multiply it's going to be our function and we're going to pass one argument we'll call it b all right and then we're going to say for x in b we're going to get a total that's equal to x times two i kind of think this is the same thing we did prior i don't remember and then we're going to yield total all right so what we're going to do on each function call we're going to step through and multiply two times this list okay and then i'm going to show you why this is pretty cool all right so <clears throat> let's go ahead and just do d is equal to multiply a all right and then we'll do next d we get two next d we get four all right so Let's call it one more time. We get six. Let's go ahead and append something to that list. Append uh, six. All right. So we're going to append six to the to a, which is this up here. Hit return. Call a, and now we got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So now we're going to go back to continuing the call. Next, we got eight. We got ten. All right, so we're up to five. Five times two is 10. And then we call it one more time. Oh, 12. Look at that. We didn't even have to break the function to add in some new numbers. All right, so let's think about that for a second. If you're running a program and the user's doing something, for example, in a game, and they completed a task, you can put that on top of your stack, which is your list, and stack them on top of each other. And maybe through that game uh, when they get to the end of a level you want to print out hey this is what you did uh, you accomplished and then you print that out and then you print out the next one this is what you accomplished and you can append that on top of the of the list here um, something I was trying to think of that you would use it um, now if we went and took a look at how this would work in a um, regular function let's do that real quick just so you guys have an understanding of the difference do uh create our list again just so you guys can see what the list looks like all right <clears throat> then we're going to define multiply and we're going to do b and then we're going to do 4x and b we're going to go ahead and return no let's not return uh let's just print x times 2 all right and then we'll just do um multiply and then we'll do a up oh, all our everything was returned at one time now if i want to stack something on here as i'm progressing through a game all right and um i want something returned to me when that task is completed uh, I'm not going to be able to do that with a regular old function because everything's returned to me. So if I go a a dot append six, all right, to the list, I call a. Yeah, it's there, but hey, this function already ran, so that's not going to get re returned to me. The only way it's going to work is if I do define multi b like this, and I do four x in B and then I do something like total is equal to um, X or actually I could just do this I just said total yield X times 2 and I come down here and I just do uh, D is equal to multi and I call in a and then I just do next D just like that and then next one that and then next one, then next one, then next one, and then I want to dot append uh, six, and then I call the next one. Oops, not that way. Call the next one. I get that. So that's when the generator function really comes into good use. Is if we're stepping through something, um, and we want to still 
you know, add things to that list, if you will, um, without breaking the function, then yield is a good option for that. Now, if we use another uh, function, like a normal function up here, we're going to get all those values returned to us, and it might be obsolete by the time it's actually needed. So it's just something to think about. Um, if I, uh, we'll probably go over a couple more, maybe in the next tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. We'll see you in the next tutorial.